Hello, this is a, a follow-up to a previous tutorial about NURBS modeling and intersecting and trimming surfaces. Something like that was my result. And I always discover interesting uh, places and geometries like this channel here, uh, which I didn't plan to create, but which was created by cutting and intersecting different surfaces. Uh, check the description below uh, to see uh, what uh, kind of tutorial I, I'm referring to. Here I want to point you to something uh, about rendering of NURB surfaces, which is very basic, really. Um, we started with this geometry. It's a very light geometry. We don't have dense populations of faces here. It's actually not faces, it's patches in, in the NURBS world, but in the polygon world it would be called a, um, a face here. Uh, lots of uh, faces um, in the polygon world to achieve such a round, such roundness, but in the NURBS world it's very simple. Uh, so it all comes from a very simple sphere and uh, the geometry is uh, is very very tiny and uh, marginal mathematically simple which means uh, totally elegant uh, when it comes to rendering though you will uh, have problems with the curvature if you want uh, the things to be totally round before we get to rendering um, I found this little channel here so interesting that I put a light in it you see it here this is the light it shines only in that channel and um, uh, the whole object is pretty dark in here it has a dark belly so to say that's why I created a mesh uh, polygon uh, torus and uh, converted it into a, a pretty strong light source so this is a light source only it won't be rendered and uh, the background is a blue ramp shader which is just going from blue to a blue mild blue color to white that's basically it and uh, when I render this this is my render camera um, watch look at look out what's uh, happening with this edge here uh, the edge is very low in counts of uh, local topology so how does Arnold or the Maya renderer how do they deal with it and uh, this is what we get And you see the light working here. Here is it would be totally dark without the torus mesh light, and the light which wraps around the whole scene and in illuminates the whole scene, which I think is still a little bit too dark, uh, is the sky dome light. Let's make it a slightly brighter, like this maybe. Um, you see the edges here. That's because Maya knows about the history of this. Uh, object and uh, chooses a way to tessellate, as it's called, the edges the way uh, the original uh, is is like. And we want it more round. That's called tessellation, really. And there are two ways to do it. I show you one way to do it. And for that purpose, let's select just that region for rendering. You click on this icon and then you just frame that region here. So Maya, um, Maya will always render, using the Arnold renderer, this part of the image here. Um, let's put this to the side for a second. And here under rendering, you need to go to rendering. For that, uh, you have the render menu. And under the render menu is the NURBS tessellation option box. Here is the option box. So the command is called render set NURBS tessellation. And here we set the NURBS tessellation, which means how Maya interprets this, uh, the, the complexity of the geometry uh, of the and, and of the roundness, basically. So um, here we have a medium quality as a default, which is just fine. Um, but um, Let's raise the U division factor uh, from 1.5, which is the default, to say, well, something like 4. And we press set and let's see what's happening in the render view. 
nothing because we haven't selected an object. So we need to select the, ob the object here and now we set it and now um, we see a different behavior of the rendering but not exactly the corners we intended to uh, make smoother or more round because we change the U division factor which is the factor going this way instead of that way. So we can reduce this again to 1.5 and raise this parameter the V division factor. That's basically how many little um, lines the renderer inserts in order to make this rim here, this border more round. So let's uh, click set and now we get a round shape which looks more like what we have here in the original uh, viewport. So that's basically all I wanted to show you.